Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm so excited because I will be forcing myself out from my room because I've been staying in my room for like a week since my holiday started. I was sick last week and like it's winter right now, I don't really feel like going out. But today I will be forcing myself to do that. Right now I'm having my breakfast. I am watching a video about um, reason not to worry what others think. I really like this channel and I will recommend this channel if you guys like to know more about philosophy and stuff like that. Because for the past few days I've been feeling unwell, um, I woke up quite late every day and also I thought that during the holiday I will be spending like most of my time catching up all the lectures and um, catching up things that I couldn't cope with during the semester but in reality I prefer my laptop and my phones over my lectures and this is why I've decided to get up from my room so after breakfast I will prepare myself and I will bring you guys to the library later oh yeah I forgot to tell you guys the library that I'm going to is um the National Library of Australia. I'm really excited but I'm not sure whether I can film in there or not. Um, we'll see whether I can do that later. Hopefully I can film in there. I haven't really been there before so this will be my first time with you guys. I just did my makeup and I'm going to show you guys my outfit for today. I got my top from Taobao. It's quite thick and so it's very suitable for winter. This is my skirt. I brought them from Malaysia and my tight. It looks like it's very thin but it's actually very thick and it actually can keep me warm. And this is my coat. I got my coat from Australia and I really like this coat. It's just it's just that the coat is pink in colour so it's quite hard to pair with other outfits and these are the shoes I'm going to wear today What I'll be bringing is my notebook, my pencil case, my laptop and uh, my phones and also the handbook for reference Okay, Of course, I'll make sure not to forget my water bottle as well Because I don't have a car in Australia, so I have to check for the bus schedule. Um, so, the next bus will be leaving at 10.16am. Which means that I still have some time before I leave. To be honest, it's, um, it's been a long time since I do my makeup and clean up myself. Because I was sick last week. I feel like trash last week and like I feel so tired and I look so tired and I'm like what is this? This is not me. <laughs> I'm just glad that today I'm back to normal and I'm going out again. So I will be bringing you guys to explore with me. If you are interested in student lifestyle or um, life as an international student in Australia or life as a medical student. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I make those videos and also sometimes I make video giving advice on what to expect and how to overcome um, obstacles in medical school, something like that. The reason why I like to do that is when I first enter into medical school, I have no idea what I got myself into. Until I'm really in there, only I know um, what is happening and I really know how it feels like to be in medical school. I know that some of you guys, you guys wonder how it's like to be in medical school and how much do you need to study and what do you do in medical school, something like that. My YouTube video will be covering all that because that is what I do. I'm a medical student and, and you can see what a medical student do by watching my YouTube video. I'm walking to the bus stop right now and I have my umbrella in case the weather got hot. The sun here really burns my skin sometimes. Um, right now I'm waiting for the bus and it's already like 10.30 and I was expected to arrive at the library at 11 a.m. 11 the bus is here, yes. So we are here already 
and I am looking for the library building I think the building over there is the library the library is right at that direction so I think the building is the library Before entering into the building, I took some time exploring outside the building. I haven't really been to the National Library before, even back in Malaysia, so I'll consider this my first visit. Okay, I'm going to enter into this building now. They have cafes and bookstore inside of the buildings. I visited the bookstore because bookstore is always one of my favorite places to be at. I'm just wandering around to find out what special stuff and books they sell in the bookstore. They don't allow me to bring the um, backpack into the library, so I'm just going to leave my backpack in the locker. I'm just taking out all the stuff that I need to study later and also drink some water to stay hydrated. When I was finding my way into the library, I discovered a gallery and I decided to just visit the gallery and see what's in there since we're already here. We are now in the gallery. I'm going to bring you guys into the gallery right now. After that, I went to the library which is the main destination that I want to visit today. The library is huge and so quiet unlike the library in my university which sometimes can be noisy. They also have computers here but does not have an internet access. So probably you'll have to have your own internet connection if you want to surf the internet through their computers. And right now, I'm just going to study for a bit before lunch time. After spending some time to study, I went to the second floor and realized that there's another part of the library on the second floor. At this point, I am feeling quite hungry now, so I decided to go to the locker and get my stuff before leaving the library. Guys, I am hungry right now. Since I'm already near to the city center, I feel like having this rural fun. So I will go to the city and have this rural fun as my lunch. I'm collecting my bag right now. And I have already have my library card with me. It usually takes around 10 minutes for me to reach the city by bus. So we are now at the city. I'm heading to the place that I'm going to have my lunch now. After lunch, I decided to do shopping at an Asian grocery store. The one that I'm currently in is my favorite place to get my groceries. And I also decided to visit Canberra Center for some window shopping before heading back to my place. Then I took a bus to go back to my place again. I wanted to show you guys some scenery in Canberra while I was on the bus. This is the Lake Burley Griffin, which I think this is the nearest place where I can find a lake or something. This is the Parliament House. Apparently you can visit the Parliament House, but I haven't visited before. At this point, I just feel so tired and I couldn't wait to lie on my bed again. I just love my bed so much and maybe this is one of the reasons why I've been staying in my house for the whole week. Finally, I'm back. I'm feeling so tired. Uh, I think the reason why I'm so tired is because of all the 
traveling on the bus. If I have car, it will be different. <laughs> okay, so... What I'm going to do now? I'm going to keep my shoe. Normally, I like to bring my shoe into my room because I don't want my shoe to become the habitat of um, some spiders or some bugs and stuff like that. So I like to keep it in my cupboard. Let me show you what I bought just now. Two boxes of strawberries. Um, this is $4 for each. And $4 is considered quite expensive right now. But sometimes it will go up to $5. Um, the cheapest it can go is like $3 like that. My favourite healthy snacks here are the Nature Valley bars. These are my favourite snacks. The reason why I bought them is they are having discount right now. This is usually like 5 or $6, I forgot. But right now it's $3 for a box. I also bought another thing is this thing. I bought this broccoli. Like I don't really know how to prepare vegetables but broccoli is quite um, easy to do like you can just steam it like you can just cut all the um, all this part out and remove the stock. I went to the Asian store just now the reason why I went there is I want to get something I want to get something like dates and goji berries something like that because like I saw something on Red um, Red is like a China version of Instagram they teach us how to mix all the herbal stuff together to improve your skin and to improve your health but when I went to the store I saw um, things like this so I saw this like uh, reduce acne tea so they already mix everything together this is goji berry liquor rice and another one is honey sucker so they already mix everything for you so it comes in like this kind of like tea bags kind of Thing. Another one that I bought is the whitening and rejuvenating tea. The tea bag is so pretty here. Can you see this? I don't know whether it works or not but I can't wait to try this and I can still drink it with hot water that, and that is really good since right now it's winter time. That is everything that I bought today and right now I'm just going to um, rest for a while and later I want to watch at least one lecture because I was aiming to finish all the lectures during this uh, holiday but I think it's like too much already I cannot finish but I will still try my best and I will also show you guys how I take notes and stuff like that mm. it's quite sweet right now I'm going to watch a lecture and I'm going to also show you guys how I normally do my note on my iPad. So what I usually do is I will send the PDF to Notability and that's the app that I usually use to annotate my lecture notes. And I also open up the lecture on my laptop and you don't have to really use Notability to annotate your notes. You can use like other free apps because Notability you have to pay for like I think like 30 ringgit plus. So I'll open this up. And this is the previous lecture that I um, went through yesterday. So this is the notes in Notability. I'll just like write everything down that is important on the lecture notes. In that way, I don't need to print out the paper. You can go paper free, you can save money, you can save the environment. You can also save some space. Like if you add all the notes into your iPad and you don't, you just have to carry an iPad around, you don't have to carry notes when you want to go out and study. This is the reason why I like iPad. But you can also go for laptop. Recently, I like to type my notes on laptop instead of iPad. So what I do on iPad is just the lecture, like to take notes for lecture. And the actual notes is in my laptop. Many people ask whether iPad is essential or not. It depends on you. You can you can actually just use laptop to type your notes. But if you prefer to really write on something, I will recommend you to get an iPad. I really hope you guys like this video. If you really like this video, please remember to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be very very happy if you guys do that. Thank you so much. And I will 
see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.